Days are about two and a half hours away from us. So what that means is it's going to be coming through, I think, right around the 7 o'clock hour shortly after that. And then we're going to have to really keep an eye on any storm development because those storms could potentially be bringing that tornado threat. So here's a look at our severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. Highest chance of seeing those damaging storms is once again further to our west where you see that bullseye there in red. That's a moderate risk. That's a level four out of five. For us here at home, most of us have a slight risk risk, meaning scattered severe storms are possible, but the western third in that enhanced risk region. That means numerous severe storms are going to be possible for the western portion of the viewing area, and that uh, looks like it's going to be if those storms are able to catch up to our warm front. And then tomorrow, we have a strong cold front moving through. Along that cold front is going to be some showers and thunderstorms, and those two are going to have the chance of being strong to potentially severe. So tomorrow's severe weather outlook, most of Chicagoland in an enhanced risk, meaning numerous severe storms going to be possible, and that's with all hazards on the table again. We're talking damaging wind gusts as well as hail and possibly even some tornadoes. So future cast will time things out for you. We have our warm front currently lifting northward throughout the region. Here's a look at those storms that are now developing off to our southwest. Those are going to be riding right along that frontal boundary. If they're able to catch up to that frontal boundary, then they're going to start to take off toward the east through our area instead of staying on that northeasterly trajectory there. So that's why we have to really be on guard through about 7 p.m. to see what those storms are going to do. But just make sure you have ways to get those weather alerts. Looking ahead to tomorrow morning, this model really is not trying to bring a ton of activity to the area, but anytime after about 5 or 6 a.m., we need to be on guard for some showers and thunderstorms to be rolling through. That will continue through about midday on Wednesday. And again, some of these showers are going to have the potential to be strong or potentially severe. That tornado threat, that exists for tomorrow as well. Finally, when we're on the back side of this cold front, showers and storms are going to come to an end. It is going to get windy. We have a wind advisory going into effect tomorrow for wind gusts out of the southwest as high as about 45 to 50 miles per hour. So right now, here's the view. It's 53. We have easterly winds of 11 miles per hour. Pretty easy to pick out where that warm front is. Kankakee is already up to 77 degrees at this hour, whereas we're still sitting at 53 degrees at O'Hare and only 39 at the lakefront. For tonight, we're going to continue to see that warm front lifting to the north. So our temperatures, those are going to be rising. Rising temperatures tonight will have that severe potential between 7 and about 11 p.m. Another severe weather threat from about 6 a.m. until noon tomorrow. 72 degrees for the high on Wednesday, but then falling temperatures after that cold front. We have sunshine to end the week and your Easter weekend. It looks good. Natalie.